it's a new top, it's thrifted, and um, I, this is the back. <laughs> and this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Another week of me showing off what I wear during the week. And I'm starting off with this refashioned blouse and also a refashioned skirt. The skirt um, is a project I did about two or three months ago and I am so loving this skirt. I am going to be making, yeah for sure, a couple more in different colours. So it is the skirt that used to be a pair of pants, so it's got an inverted pleat at the front and also an inverted pleat at the back. And they slit at the side, they sexy slit at the side. The blouse, um, it's a woman's blouse. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, the reason why I say that is because um, I do have a, a tutorial on how to do a wrap blouse predominantly with men's shirts because I do have quite a few of those as some of you may know um, but I have, I've, I've only started to do about three or four in women's blouses and the whole look is very different because of the fabric because men's shirts tend to be cotton and women's shirts can be anything from silks to chiffon which is this this one to cottons and other fabrics as well so the drape is so different what i like about this apart from this detail here the piping which also ties in with the skirt waistband piping here is the fact that this is an oversized blouse and the bust darts is coming from <laughs> literally my natural waistline here it's an oversized and it's gorgeous it's a nice, it's a nice feature, and you know it's taken on a look of its own, and it really goes well with this skirt. So let me finish off dressing myself with my jewelry. So I'm going to be putting on my choker because that just ties it in with the piping that's on the skirt and also the blouse. Oh, don't need any more than that. Just kind of keep it very simple. And then I do want a bit of movement around my ears, so I'm going to go for my tassel earrings. Yeah, and I made these myself as well. <laughs> so I'll put those on. Yeah, that goes with my hair, my hairstyle. That one, almost there. And then I'm just going to wear a ring, just one ring. Going to be this one. It's actually this is actually wood. This. It's nice. It's a nice ring. With the diamonds in. <laughs> and then I'm going to tie it off with a bag. What bag should I go for? Hmm. I'm gonna go for a clutch because it is a season for clutches, isn't it? So I'm going to go for a clutch. So I'm gonna jazz it up with this clutch. The sequined fabric clutch. Oh yes. Daytime wear. So I'll bring you down so you can see the bottom half of me. Today is something that I haven't worn before. I'm struggling with it just a little bit, but I thought I'd share it, share it with you rather than try and solve it and tell you after what I've done with the issue that I am not happy with. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it does. Anyway, it's a new top. It's thrifted, and um, I, this is the back, <laughs> and this is the front. But I like the back. I also like the front as well. I also like this detail at the back. It does look nice. But I think I would wear it more to the front than I would do the back. And it's not kind of lying completely there in places. It's gaping a little bit. It needs to lie a bit flatter to my body. And yeah, I don't. I, 
it, it may be the top that I've got underneath it, the jumper. Um, maybe if that was a bit more fitted, probably wouldn't see all this that's happening there. But, hmm, I don't know. I think I may need to tuck, you know, do a little bit of tacking here and maybe here and here. But what I tend to do is, when I'm not totally happy with the way something is sitting on my body, I'll wear it and then um, throughout the day, I'll keep going back to the mirror. It sounds so vain, doesn't it? <laughs> um, to see, you know, where I need to adjust it, what I'm not happy with. And I always, I've always done that, and I would recommend anybody to do that, so that you keep thinking about wearing the item again and again and again. Because you bought it for a reason, didn't you? So I love this detail. So that's the reason I bought it. I love the detail. I knew I was going to wear it more to the front than I was going to wear it this detail to the back, um, but I just need to tweak it just a little bit more. I have done a little bit on the sides, but I'm going to take those out because it was really gaping out here. Um, but no, it's still not doing what I wanted to do. And also wear it with a bit more of a fitted top as well. Look at this detail. Look at the collar, the neck, I should say, here. Look at that. I just love this. Anyway, let me see. Let me show you how I'm going to finish off my look. So I've got my hair out. My hair is, um, yeah. Uh, whenever I wear jeans, I seem to like having my hair a bit messy, a bit scruffy. But I do. I do have my hair nice and neat when I'm wearing denim as well. But denim always reminds me to have messy hair. An excuse for me to have like you know untied his hair, hair that hasn't combed, just taken it out of its bun and just kind of pulled it down and yeah, this is the result. Not too much effort. <laughs> Quite lazy when it comes to my hair, I must be honest. Um, so I'm wearing jeans, which are a little bit distressed and I'm wearing uh, wedge platforms on my feet. And the way I team this together is the, the colour that ran through this bag back here so it's kind of it's it's a fabric bag and um, the colour sometimes I would advise anybody if they are struggling to put colours together and I've mentioned this before on my channel is if there are a, a, a garment a nice enough garment and it's got colours different colours in it to pick out colours in order to to you know match a bottom or a top you know whatever the case may be or even accessories in this case so yes so it does go quite well and I love the, the strap doesn't look as though it may or may not go with the bag, but in an odd way, it does. Yeah, it really does, it really just matches the back, the strap, I do like it. Anyway, I must continue. I'm going to put it cross body, but I'm going to have the bag sitting towards the back of me. If I sit it towards the side of me there, it's, it's, it's kind of, my arms are out here. <laughs> And it's okay, it's fine. Or I could have it sitting at the front like this. But it's interrupting too much of what's happening here, which I don't like. Um, so what I'm going to do is put it towards the back of me. And it's okay to have your bag sitting towards the back of your body. I mean, we do have rucksacks or what they call backpacks. I do the same sort of thing. So yeah, so it will sit there the back of me and it feels comfortable and I just love this, this just adds to it and then I can put my hands in my pocket, yeah and it picks up the details that are in my shoes as well. Anyway, let me continue, I'm going to be wearing some sunglasses, these ones and then I'm going to wear, I've got earrings on and so put this bangle on. I want to ruche up my sleeves. Just ruche up, yes. I don't, I don't stay. <laughs> I've been doing this all day. <laughs> yes, yes. That's the look that I've got for today. I'll bring you down.
you are well, if you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Hello fashion sewers, how are you? So, my Outfits of the Week Friday videos. I hope you are enjoying them. Please let me know in the comments if you are. The reason why I do my Friday Outfits of the Week is to inspire you and show you how I would team my refashion projects in with along with my garments that I have designed, pattern crafted and also so and some high street pieces as well, so ready to wear garments. So I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you and motivating you in order for you to refashion any garments because you as you um, I'm not sure many of you may know that back in the day um, I did a lot of sewing techniques and I've put sewing techniques in the description whenever I do video tutorials to help you with your project as you sew your project. You can always click on those videos teach you in depth about certain technique that I will be um, using in a project. I can't really do that in my projects because my videos are very long and I'm very worthy and um, of your time so I do thank you for watching my videos but like I said please click on those because it will really help you with your project to get a professional looking finish to your garments. So going back to my outfits for Friday I hope they are inspiring you and um, if you want me to do a bit more in depth of my clothing I will do because I don't want to take up too much of your time so um, I do talk about the weather quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna hold back on that as much as I possibly can and um, so yes yeah, so let's just get into the video and um, yeah I, I hope you enjoy it you a twirl before I've even said anything. <laughs> anyway, what I'm wearing today is like so gorgeous. It's a recent project. I'll link it below. Um, so yeah, so I'm in black even though it is spring in England. Again, um, black me, again. Uh, <laughs> and this is a refashioned top. It was a cardigan that was like just edge to edge and this situation that's happening here is part of the design of the cardigan but I don't think it was the actual design of the cardigan I just think it, it, it was a cardigan that didn't really stay on your shoulders because when I actually stretched it and I actually bought it, it still had a swing tag in it I believe and um, yeah so it, it does this all by itself so what I did is made it cross over so it wasn't a case where it will literally be hanging off your body so it literally will stay in the in that position maybe comes down just a little bit more but because that's a bit cross body it's giving it a little bit more control so it's a really fashion top I don't have a video tutorial for this um, but I do have a video tutorial a video tutorial for my skirt which is gorgeous um, so yes yeah, so let me show you that after I finish putting on some more jewellery so I've got my beads on this hand as I've got an asymmetrical situation going on I'm going to put some bangles on this hand yes just to offset the black that's in, the, in, in my outfit I've also got silver earrings in and then yeah now it's time for me to twirl I'm only twirling because of the skirt, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll stop. Well, I will stop once I finish filming this because I've still got another tour to give you. Um, and I'm going to be teaming it with this denim fabric. Well, it's not denim. I keep on calling this denim. Do you know the reason why? The reason why is because it has a denim vibe about it that I like. You've got this trap here that is gorgeous that doesn't seem to go, but somehow it does work. And I think it's because it's so casual and the fact that the texture of the bag is fabric, um, it just goes so well. And if you are a person that doesn't like denim bags, I used to have them years ago when it was very popular back then. Um, but this would probably be the next option is going for a fabric um, bag, um, you know, of a blue, of a blue colour. So yeah, that really goes well with what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a denim skirt, well it's denim and also fabric that's the lower section of this skirt and it really goes well with my footwear so yeah it's a look that I'm kind of uh, loving right now see so, yeah, I think one more one more twill <laughs>
roll the neck on. A ball cardigan. It's cold. It, it's spring and it's cold. <laughs> it's even going back into autumn and winter. Oh, it is cold. And this is not what I was intending to wear today, but um, one needs to keep warm. I think I told you last week or was it this week that I was going to put away my autumn winter gear. Well, I have, I made a start. I put away most of my um, woolies, my cardigans and my jumpers. I so wish I could put away my woolly scarf. Well, no, not woolly scarf, my fur scarf, the blue one that you've seen it quite a few times that I've worn over the autumn winter period. Oh, I should never put that away. I was tempted, I really was tempted to get it. It's like, really? This weather's calling for some fur. Faux fur, by the way. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's gold. Um, so I'm just wearing some blue jeans, um, a navy blue polar neck, and a cardigan. I belted it in with a blue belt with gold hardware, gold buckle and gold earrings. Yeah, I was getting a bit lazy with my hair. Um, yeah, I kept it. I was, if the sun was shining, these twists, I would have twist out by now. I would. But yes, I'm a bit lazy. I think I said it before that I'm a bit lazy with my hair. So yeah, but it was fine. I've got my hair bad now. Look, I've even got sunglasses. I was prepared. The sunshine. Oh. Anyway, let me continue finishing off I'm not putting any other jewellery on because I just want to keep these sleeves as long as possible, keep my hands warm because they even wear some gloves. And um, just give you a twirl. And I'm going to finish it off with a bag. I'm going to go for this one. It's getting a lot of wear, this bag. So I picked up the colour that's in here. There's like an orangey red in order for me to choose this cardigan in which to wear. And I'm going to put it crossbody like so, you need to keep me warm. I'm actually gonna wear it at the front of my body, like so. So that's me for today. which means I designed it, patterned it, and also sewn it. So yes, today the weather, I'm only going to talk a little bit about the weather, I'm not wearing any woolies, <laughs> I feel a lot warmer this morning, um, so that's all I'm going to say compared to yesterday. So yeah, let me give you a twirl. Yes, I'm back in this gorgeous refashion. Oh, oh. It's, it's, it's gorgeous, it's so gorgeous. I know I say this all the time about my refashion makes, but I just want to inspire you and motivate you to know that you can do this. You can actually refashion garments and make them into something new. This used to be a coat for those of you that don't know. Yes, and now it's this cute little jacket. I'll twirl once more for you. All right, so um, yeah, I'm going to be wearing this all day. It's nice and cool. I've got a camera underneath and um, pants. They are a lightweight wool, but um, it's got nothing to do with the weather. I just want to match it up with this, see how well it goes. And it really goes really well because I'm picking up the same colour that's in the check in the pants is um, more or less the same colour that the jacket is. Um, the colour of the jacket. So, yeah. So, the only jewellery that I'm wearing are these gold ones and. I don't think I'm going to wear anything else apart from sunglasses. Yeah, the sun is out. <laughs> and I'm going to team it with a handbag. This gorgeous handbag made by myself, I will say. It is gorgeous. Yes. Yes, it's a suit. Anyway, 
Yeah, so it's made, but, um, I'm gonna wear this crossbody. So it's got a top handle and also a shoulder strap, but I'm gonna wear it crossbody like so. It goes well. Yeah, the way it to the front of me, and that just breaks it open and this adds to the top. Side profile, yeah, good. That side profile, brilliant. And all I need to do is top it off with some sunglasses, which are going to be these ones. And that's me ready for. Friday. I bring you down so you can see the bottom half of me. I've got hip pockets and we've sported my hands in my pocket to show off my bag. inspired by my outfits of the week and as I've mentioned a lot of my items are refashioned as well as garments that I've, you know, that I've bought and also garments that I've actually designed as well um, but if you're interested in refashioning then what I do on a Wednesday is where I do video tutorials to show you how I refashion garments and hopefully it will inspire you and motivate you to do something similar so I'll, I'll, I'll say Subscribe to my channel most definitely if you're into that and also subscribe to my channel if you like my Friday videos of how I style things as well. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and please do share and leave a comment below. And when you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell because that way it will help my channel to grow and also you'll also be informed of when I actually upload a video. Because sometimes I may do a video that's not on my schedule which is a Wednesday and a Friday. So yeah, that's it for now. Until next week, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.